Welcome, my friends, uh, to episode three of um, our midnight workshops. Uh, these workshops are recorded in the middle of the night, and hence they are titled Midnight Workshops. Um, and the purpose of these um, little workshops is to sort of enlighten and bring somebody who is entering the film industry and um, uh, sort of give them an idea or a nudge or a kickstart into understanding the world, particularly of filmmaking, but with an inclination to directing. So if you want to be a film director um, and you're studying up and um, you've never been to film school, these workshops are, are really um, are inspired by a good friend of mine and a mentor, um, uh, this is the person that I really owe my entire career and, you know, the skills that I have in film directing, I sort of ascribe them to him. His name is Peter D. Marshall. Um, um, you know, we seldom meet because I'm in South Africa and he's in North America, the Canada. Um, but, um, He's the person who actually assisted me and, you know, took good care of me and taught me and, you know, gave me as much information as he has and inspired me, you know, through the great work that he has done. Um, uh, so, yeah, so um, probably even my series is sort of, um, is sort of, um, um, taking quite a lot of, you know, obviously I know what I know because of him. So um, I want to sort of transfer then that knowledge to anybody else who, who you know, who is willing to to learn. Over and above these workshops, uh, these midnight uh, workshops or these video clips, I am planning on... Um, um, or rather I'm putting together a full um, you know essentials of directing or workshop um, this is probably going to be like a two day workshop very intensive so uh, do look out if you subscribe to my channel I'm probably going to sort of um, invite you to those workshops um, so keep in touch follow me on twitter um, um, on Facebook and, you know, stay in touch. So anyway, um, on with the episode. Uh, this is episode three. And like I said in, 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 in the previous episode, we're going to focus now on um, director's key crew, you know, or the director's partners. I want to call them partners because uh, crew sounds like it's in an army and you've got your sergeants and well, for as much as that is not really a problem but I believe that as a film director your relationship with um, your, your, your partners or the people that are assisting you to bring this picture you know should be more than workers or should be more than people that are there to take instruction so I believe that these people should be fair to as partners you know um, because they're partnering together with you to give you or to assist you come up with this lovely picture that you have been instructed to deliver by your producer so without further ado we want to start your first um, film partner in no particular order by the way would be your art director also referred to as production designer maybe um, depending on the size of your crew if you've got a very you know if you have a luxury of a large crew you're gonna have your art director up there and you're gonna have your production designers you're gonna have all these other people you know but if you are limited you know in your micro budget film or independent filmmaker you probably will have either a, just call them a director or you have a production designer you know so very important person of course because they assist you with the um, uh, a scenery you know the look and feel of the film they bring to you the appropriate wardrobes the clothes the costumes they bring you the appropriate props um, what is the actor going to use 
um, you know, this is not really the platform for it, but we all know that a prop is something that the actor touches on on set and you know makes use of if uh, the actor is going to use this cell phone for example um, then you know this cell phone becomes um, and it's referred to as a prop but if um, like my monitors that you see behind here which are always running a screen saver because I don't want you to, to be distracted or I didn't want to seem to have uh, work there and you know but those are part of your set because I'm not going to work unless it, I'm going to touch them and make use of them in the film. Then they can be referred as a prop. So you've got your props, um, you've got your props master, and you know they can fall under the production designer or the art director. But all that is basically the job of your production designer is to make sure that you've got the right props, the right set, the right... Um, costumes for your actors your hair and makeup everything that you need the you know all the colorful elements you know um as my mentor would say uh, the amazing scene you know then look and feel the scenery you know the, um, the production designer will help you with that and the second um person you know a uh, second partner of the film director would be the casting director. Need I emphasize more how important it is to make sure that um, you know the roles in a film uh, set are filled by the right people. So you need um, a proper um, uh, casting director who's going to find the right talent, the right um, um, actor to fit into um, um, a particular role you know these people they obviously have pools and pools of actors you know some some casting directors they have coaching sessions with their actors so um, some train them further and you know obviously and a legal representative as well um, and all those kind of things but as a director you need to have a good casting director as your partner because then they will find you the right people to fit in the roles. Let's talk about the third um, guy that you want to be um, alongside with uh, very importantly is the cinematographer, um, you know, director of photography if you want. Um, but if, if you really want us to, to deal with um, this issue of a cinematographer or director of photography, do drop a comment then on this video um, if you want me to deal with that in, in, in any of the other upcoming episodes I can deal with that and sort of uh, tell you the differences between uh, a cinematographer and and um, um, a director of photography but anyway um, let's I prefer a cinematographer you know um, cinematographer has, you know, because this is the guy who understands camera. This is a guy who understands um, the technical aspect of the picture, giving you that crispy, crystal clear picture and lighting it perfectly well for the scene and creating this mood and helping you as a director to paint the picture. You need a good cinematographer. So that's partner number Three. Partner number four is then the sound engineer, the sound man, the recordist. There is nothing as pathetic as having a great film with terrible sound. Of course, you can do ADR at a later stage, but if you don't have the luxury of the funds and the time, you might want to make sure that the sound that you capture on set is as clear crispy and of high quality as it possibly can. He is a very, very important component of the film. Make sure he, he's got the right equipment too. He's got access to the right equipment, um, which would probably be your um, radio mics, your boom mic, um, a good uh, sound mixer, you know, high quality recorder, um, and yeah, and 
the guy really has to understand and and give you um, the right sound for your picture okay and then partner number uh, five last but not least the editor hmm. the film editor is not a person who knows where to locate the razor blade in Final Cut or in Adobe Premiere or in Avid or whatever editing software that you use. An editor is a storyteller. You know, you give um, your editor the footage, you give your editor the film, um, uh, or the different pieces, different scenes, and the editor has to stitch these scenes up and create this mode and create this pace in the action and 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 sort of present your story seamlessly to your audience so need i say the importance of of a film editor very very important um i might want to sort of highlight um <clears throat> my experience with an editor um, was when I, I when I created my very first feature film, I had um, a good friend who was the editor. He he sort of cut the film, and when I I remember when I went to watch the film for the first time, um, the film was totally different. You know, um, the ending was different. It wasn't as according to the script. So he sort of changed the way the film ends, and I liked it. You know. But of course, I was attached to the story, and it it took quite a lot of humbling on my part to sort of accept that um, uh, his ending is actually better than my ending in the script. Now, if you ask me how he managed to do that, you know, because I mean, I was shooting the film according to the script, but he found a way of bringing a different ending with the footage that I provided him. So that just goes to show how important um, the editing process is. So you need a good editor um, for your film. So there we go, um, my good friends. Those are the five key partners that you need as a director. Um, we're still continuing. Um, do subscribe to um, these um, episodes if you feel the need and so that we can you know keep in touch and keep in contact so yeah i'll see you on episode uh, four ciao ciao